Hello everyone! As you remember this was the last state um, in the last tutorial and we were using two attractor points. And now I want to show you how to use an extra attractor curve. So, and I will enlarge my, my grid, maybe to the count of around about 50 and put this attractor point here the other point here and as you can see mm, both attractor points have the same weight and we can control this um, but uh, we need to do something uh, different in our in our script so just uh, make sure that you have enough space um, if you don't have enough space you can press the alt button and uh, the left mouse button and then you can um, provide more space like this okay and uh, but at first I want to draw a curve in Rhino so like this and I bring it into the curve container just type in curve right uh, mouse click and then set one curve select this curve and now it's stored inside of this container here you can see it by the green preview okay and now we need to measure all those points to this attractor curve and I type in curves closest point this is the node we need so curve closest point um, it's here closest point closest point oh here it is yeah so I put my curve into this curve input from curve closest point and all those points put it here so I need to graft this input Crafted. Okay. And here I need to do something else. Um, just delete this. Whoop. Um, copy and paste the distance node. Put uh, my second attractor point into point B from the second distance node and my first attractor point in point B from the first distance node. So. Now I want to merge all the distances into one node. I use the merge node. So put the uh, first distance in data A, uh, data one, and the second in data two. And my last distance are here for my for my curve. I put it into D three. So and now I need a bit more space in here. Uh, I need the multiply component. It's just a mathematical operator. You can find it under maths operators and multiply. Then we put the distance a here and need another slider. Maybe I put it to 0. Point, uh, 2.00. Sorry. And now I copy and paste them twice. Have them here put this here copy and paste the multiply component okay and instead of using the distances I can use this multiply the result so turn off the preview here turn off and now I put my result into keys and now you can see it was changing so now we have this attractor curve in our grid and it works pretty much uh, pretty well so and now I can control the influence like the weight of every single attractor point and also of the attractor curve you can see and yeah actually that's it for today thank you for watching and see you next time.